What's up YouTube, Enforcer5150 here, and yes, I'm back to go ahead and do another, you know, repaste of the HP Omen 15. This time we're gonna go ahead and do it on the RTX 2070, which last time we did it on the GTX 2060. This time it should be a little bit more in depth, seeing that I have better equipment than I did before. We're gonna do use uh, Thermal Grizzly this time. This time, it should be a little bit better than we did last time. Uh, I know a lot of people have asked me to use Thermal Grizzly or if I sh if they should use it, uh, I would say yes. So we're gonna go ahead and get a baseline of before and after we use the Thermal Paste. I'm gonna go ahead and play Warzone a little bit now to see where it's at, to see what the temperatures are and everything. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, so here we go. We got the uh, the game started up. Uh, right away, I, I'm noticing, obviously, this is not the 1080p. So I wanna just go into options. Right now, you can see already that we are already at 96, uh, <laughs> 96 degrees Celsius. So that's not good. Yeah, see, I hate this aspect. Right? Look at this, 66%. Why do they do this by default is way beyond me. Like, no one wants that. No one asked for it. <laughs> All right, so, as you can see, we're already sitting at 97%, or 97 uh, Celsius, so this is bad. Like, no matter what you look at it. This is hardly, you know, I mean, it, yeah, it's playable, but if you look at the, uh, the megahertz, it's gonna keep on dropping down. All right, so you can see that we definitely need to repace this thing. Uh, we're gonna at, looking at 77 to 100 Celsius. That's just unacceptable on most laptops, any laptop. But as the heat keeps on going up, you'll see that the, the megahertz keep dropping down to try to compensate for it. So hopefully we'll go ahead and get some this thermal grizzly on it and we'll get a cooler temperature. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are. Um, this is the this is the thermal uh, paste that we're gonna use. Uh, this is uh, pretty good. Um, some, some of the best that you can actually get right now. It, it promises a, a good amount and I've researched it myself. I've used it once before uh, and it does definitely help. I do prefer um, the Arctic Silver 5. Um, one thing I wanna mention, um, I don't have one on right now, but make sure that whenever you do something like this, you want a uh, anti-static ring. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for the thermal paste and pretty much everything here along with a, uh, a wristband or something for that. Uh, I do use a cobalt uh, precision set and I lost the one I normally use so we're gonna use this one which is the pH zero not the one that I normally would use but we should be able to get most of this off. Um, if this doesn't work, I'll use something like this one, which is the uh, 230 seconds uh, uh, flathead. So hopefully we'll be able to get this all off. We'll go ahead and get started on this right away. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this a little bit short, but not too short because the last that was the problem I had with the last time is, you know, I kind of skipped through everything for uh, you know, doing the actual repasting. Uh, I do have two cameras on, on this one this time, uh, just in case one doesn't work. <laughs> but uh, the one on the side is very close up. Uh, one other thing I want to mention for you to use is something like this. All right, get that light on. <laughs> something like this. Um, I have a flashlight here. I kind of use this as a uh, extra light, but on the back it has a thing to pick up different screws. So definitely use something like this um, because that is something that I end up doing all the time is I lose my screws. Um, the next part, uh, getting this part off itself can be difficult the first time. So what I what I recommend doing is getting like a guitar pick or I have, you know, a precision kit 
that has this in my uh, description uh, to get underneath here so you can pull it up. I'm gonna get a guitar pick so we can uh, go ahead and do that quick. All right, as you see, I'm using like a regular guitar pick just that you get anywhere. Um, I'd say if you're going with an actual guitar pick, use like a bass pick or something like that. But you can get right around the edge here. Hook it in. This way you don't... Damn it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna actually use... It. I, I When I play guitar, I use really super thin ones, so this one's not the best to use. And I totally forgot about that. So we're gonna use a flathead here, just to get it up first. You can't really see that in the camera. So pretty much I'm using this just to get under, get under the first part of it. And then I'll put the guitar pick in there. And then I can pull it up. Just remember, well, I'm not even gonna do that. Just remember that it, it's not as delicate as you may you know, assume it's gonna be. Yeah, it's expensive uh, hardware, but it is meant to be taken apart. And once you get that, you can pull it right up. Boom, boom, boom. And then we got our in innards. <laughs> you need to get these things out because this whole back piece is part of your heat sink and everything else. Your, your two parts that you wanna get are right here. All right. Now, I know I've said this before, but this should have been the last piece to get the guard off. Come on, guard. All right, so go ahead and pull it up. Come on out right there. And get underneath it. And pull it right back. Remember, um, that's why I keep on forgetting them for this one. Damn it, I didn't have to take that top one out, that's right. All right, so that one you didn't need to take out. Let me put that one back in. All right, so you didn't need to take that out. My bad, I think I did that in the last video too. Um, because all you need to do is pull it up and then roll it out. come with everything else. Down, pull out, roll out, I should say. And this part, upper guard piece, also will roll out. Oh yeah, that's right, this one had the, the sticky on it. I'll pull that sticky up. And pull it back a little more. The only problem that you'll have with this side is this cable that gets in the way. Just kind of move it out of the way. And then roll it off to the side. All right, now we can actually get to the CPU and everything here. go pull that up and I pull it up from over under here to let the whole thing comes up and if you got them all 
should come up. All right, so now we should be able to pull this up. There's one uh, cable down here. This thing has thermal paste all over it. That is so messed up. Wow. Pull this one out. Should be able to just roll it off to the side. What on earth is this? What? Why is there... Why is there plastic... ...on here? Like this. It's melted to it. Wow, okay. I have not seen this before, guys. This is messed up. Alright, let's get something to clean this up with. Alright, I'm just going to use my pick to get the old stuff off here. I wasn't planning on doing the GPU, but it does need it. <clears throat> like I said in the last video, you want to make sure you use like a, some type of uh, you want to use alcohol. go grab some here in a second. Why the heck is plastic all around my GPU? I'm, I'm taking this off. Like, I can't find a scenario, I can't think of a scenario that this should be on here. All right, so, if you go with this, you get two alcohol swab pads. You want to use alcohol, obviously, Oops. because it'll dry up quickly. All right, so we've got everything cleaned off here. We pretty much got all we want off of here, I can say. Not completely cleaned off, but now we're going to go ahead and put on some of our Thermal Grizzly. Now, um... Like I was saying in the last video, you don't want to put on too much and you don't want to put on too little. So what's the right exact amount? There really is none, but uh, you, you don't want to just slap it all on there, obviously. Get out of here. Now, so <clears throat> they give you a little pasty piece here so that you can even it out and when you're putting this on I'm worried more worried about this paper being in the way uh, you just want to do little dabs um, there's different ways that you can do this that people like to do that's probably plenty right there Now I'm slapping it on there because I can smooth it out myself. Hopefully I'll get this on my table. <clears throat> I'm only gonna use it on like very lightly. On a laptop you kinda wanna use use something like this because then you can see exactly how far it's gonna spread out. Like, yeah, I did, definitely didn't get enough on that one. This one, 
like we should be alright. So that's going to flatten out a bit. I have no idea why that plastic was on there. Like I said, you can leave it on. Uh, we'll see if our GPU has any problems later on. So if I do have like major issues, I will do another video. <laughs> Saying, don't do it! <laughs> Whatever you do, don't do it. But all in general. All right, so try to avoid what I did. I forgot to take the stuff off the plates, um, the tops, the tops of these. <clears throat> you don't want the old stuff on there. All right, we're just gonna bring this right back down to how we had it. We want to make sure that these little. Ah oh, man. We want to make sure the thermal pads are in place from where they were before. Alright, so here we are, we have the game back up, and you can already see we are running at 74 Celsius. We're definitely doing better than we were before, and this is just in the, the intro. We're going to go in just to make sure. I've had the computer, the laptop on for a little, to little time, but I mean, I mean, you've seen the results before, and we were at 100% uh, no matter what. So, so far it's pretty good. Uh, the GPU I'm kind of taking a look at because of that plastic thing we had on the GPU. I was kind of worried about that, but so far it seems uh, pretty damn stable. All right, so yeah, check this out, man. Uh, I think we're doing pretty successful here. I'm not gonna do any like crazy gaming or anything like that. I'm just wanting to Hostile see. Into the area. Watch the skies. <laughs> I just want to see how well. Uh, Dang, I heard that guy right there. See, 79, 80. Yeah, I, I gotta say, we, we we're pretty successful on this. Right now, it's under, the screen is really far away from me, so it is really hard Enemy to see anything. Ha 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 ha. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. So yeah, uh, this way better than what we had before. I mean, we're looking at about 20 Celsius difference. And we don't know how high it was going up before because it caps out at 100 Celsius. So th right there, we're definitely doing way better. Like I said, I was worried about the GPU um, getting a little bit heated, but it's not too bad. I, I can handle that. Anyway, that's all we're gonna do here. Um, I just wanted to mention that we did use the heat gun here And if you can see that it is a little bit cooler than it was before maybe by five degrees Celsius Definitely have a lot, you know different temps. We got about 20 degrees Shorter than we were before 20 degrees cooler and that is definitely not bad That's what we were shooting for or what we were hoping for anyway um, to get out of this. So this is a second uh, attempt at doing this on my laptops and it was successful if you ask me 
Anyway, that's all we're gonna do in this video. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. Uh, try to help support this channel. Everything that I had used in this video, I'll make sure I put in there. Anyway, I wanna thank everybody for watching today. Make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. You all take care and happy gaming.